Good morning, everybody! This is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Soul Blazer. So last time we defeated Poseidon in the world of the Mountain of Souls, and as you can hear, it's the happy music. But, we actually have a few loose ends to deal with first. Um, so, first thing is, uh, we are going to, uh, we're gonna go to the prison, because there's a couple of people that are now released. Last time we saw that there was a prison, they kept people in during the, during the, the, the rule of the monsters, but now that that's over, uh, let's talk to the snail man. Hi Gnome, how are you? Ah, I see. Oh, Magrid Castle, that's where he is now, interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, alright, so... Yay, we got the Silverstone, cool. And the lab is gonna be the next world, but we're not gonna be going there quite yet. Oh. Oh, that's right, so this is, uh, this is all foreshadowing for the next place. But that means pretty soon we're gonna be getting that special sword that we all needed. So what I want to do first is... Actually, go into this Mushroom's Dream, as we talked about in the last video. And this is actually going to lead us to, I have to do some research on this, we're going to get some uh, more items. So we want to step on this little guy right here. Talk to the mushroom. This is your hometown? The lake where all the bats show up? That's unfortunate. Then again, I guess mushrooms don't need a lot of amenities to live, huh? Alright, so, now that we've unlocked that, we're going to head back to the lake. Where we're going to get some, uh, some goodies. Let me just, before I forget... We're going to put the shield bracelet on, just in case. I mean, like, the enemies are dead in that area for the most part, aside from the stupid, like, ice guys, but it's always good to be in the habit of making sure that that's on. So, this is a fairly, uh, this is a quick hop away. So there's going to be an area now that we will have access to that we previously did not. Um, and sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell exactly where it is, but I believe if we actually go over here... Look at this. Master's Emblem F! And look, we got that fancy insignia. And we're actually, uh... Again, uh... As I said before, in a previous video, A and B, we can't actually get yet. But we will be able to. Now that monster layer is available, uh, with the annoying bats, of course. Because bats are the bane of my existence. Come on. Come on! There we are. Yeah. Did. This is the last, this is the very last bat layer. The bat layer, haha. Uh, that we're gonna have to deal with in this entire game. Wow, my aim really sucks. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, do, 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 come on, come on. Uh, and there is, there is, there are, there is gonna be like, maybe one better spell, I think, uh, that will allow us to target enemies like that easier. But then again, those are the last bats, and I don't think there's any other uh, creatures that are, that operate quite like them. So, Light Arrow, really solid spell that you can keep through the entire game. So as you just saw there, we released a snail. So let's talk to that snail. So this is going to be something. This is something that I actually missed several times as a kid um, when it came to collecting these these emblems. So you can actually walk through this that that little door right here. There's no way that the game would ever tell you that you could do that, but. Yeah, look at that. We get another emblem, so... Uh, we now have four. Ah, look at that. Looks like a four. That's cool. Remember, there's no point in ever walking around with these equipped. They're not gonna do anything for you. And I believe that there's a grand total of eight, so we're halfway there. So let's actually talk to the king, because I'm pretty sure the king will have, uh, something useful to say. His, uh, his maidens are very pleased about that. So, what, what have they got to say? You're a magician! Ah, oh, okay. Three symbols. That's important, folks. Yeah, they, they, you think that they might be talking garbage, but they're not. <laughs> Thanks, man! I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you did treat the snail man like a... like a chump. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, if a snail says that you're about to get invaded, I would also be skeptical. I probably wouldn't throw them in prison, though. 
Ah, the phoenix, yes. So this is something to keep in mind. The mirror, the ball, and the stick. So, we don't have to worry about those right now. But, we will have to worry about them later. So, something to keep in mind, those three items will summon the phoenix. So that's pretty fun. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. Uh, like I said, the fourth world doesn't really have a whole lot to it. The fifth world, though, is one of my personal favorites. So we've already gotten sort of a hint about what's happening next, is Dr. Leo's lab. So it's gonna be a house in the desert that looks kind of shabby, so let's, let's head on in. Alright, so... This is an interesting world. This town is literally just a kind of shattered down house, right? So... Let's talk to this door! Yes, of course, folks, you can talk to doors in this game. Are you surprised? At this point, you shouldn't be. Yeah, so evil... Ah, uh, the, the Zentestu sword. So, I could be wrong, and I didn't know this when I was a kid, but this Zentestu sword, I think, will be sufficient to take care of those metal enemies that we saw in the beginning of the game. So, that's something to look into. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, we can talk to doors in this game, and that will be, uh... They'll, they'll, that will be a useful endeavor uh, for later on, and as you can see, there's a bunch of places we can't access yet. Uh, but we are going to head into the basement. We're gonna hear some kick-ass music. Oh, yeah. Steampunk, baby. So this is gonna be the first, uh, first dungeon. And look at that, 150 EXP when you, when you kill these worms. And they're really, really stupid. So, uh, we've got 18 monster layers, though. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. So these guys, I don't believe you can kill. Oh, you can't, okay. These guys you can kill. There's, there's certain enemies later. Uh, the helicopter enemies that you can't kill. So, where is he? Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Alright. He went off somewhere. He scampered about. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, these guys you can't kill. These guys are metallic. So you have to be really careful with them. Thank God for the shield bracelet. Otherwise, I would have gotten demolished. Okay, so... The, the key to this dungeon right now is to just kill the enemies that you can kill. Um, so obviously the, the bulldozer things you can't kill, there's gonna be some other enemies that you can't kill because you just don't have the right sword. Once you do have the right sword, then you can just, you know, you can just go ape on them, so. Um, I do believe that we may take an aside to go back and, uh, take care of those monster layers that we had to deal with in other worlds. I think that'd be kind of a nice little... That'd be a nice little break from just the kind of linear progression that we've been doing, going from world to world. I wouldn't mind backtracking a little bit. Uh, but where's where's that thing? God, these, these things just run off. They're just, they're just not very cooperative. Ah! Stop killing me! Medical herbs, though, we can always get more. Ah. So. What have we? Hello, Mr. Plant. Yep, it's, it looks like a weed plant, folks. And, uh, one of the propositions that the plants will give you, very close to offering you weed, so. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, these, those things you can't kill. That's it, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. yeah! These guys don't mess around, but thank God for level ups, huh? Alright, so you just, like, you basically just have to run away from this thing, it's gonna be chasing you around. Kinda sucks when you have the improper sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I wouldn't say that the game necessarily gets hard at this point. It does become a little bit more challenging though, just because, just because of this little gimmick where you, where you can't kill this dude, and even even using the light arrow is not going to do that. So, leave a. Hello, cat. All right, we're we're getting some some plates and some some stools and a table. We're starting to redecorate this place. It's looking good. So I believe that there's uh, a few more places that we can explore. Because basically, there should be a monster layer that should release a creature that will give you access to the sword. So, we'll see very soon. Hello. Hello, door. So actually, that might be the, the correct door, I, I think, that the um, the dude was talking about. So let's let's go back and see if that's the, see if that's the right door. Unless that door is locked. Which is not beyond the realm of possibility, so... Hello! What do we got? Do 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 Oh, the Zentestu sword! So, the Zentestu sword, what does it do? Defeats armor... Uh, uh, defeats enemies with special armor. And since we're here, let's talk to the cat. Hello! 
Yeah, it does. This is, um, this is a pretty big place, actually. Hmm. Two models of the town. Oh, yes, yes, models of the town. So that's, that's kind of a hint about, uh, what we're gonna be dealing with later, is the models of town. Uh, so let's, let's kill a, a few more monster layers down here. Let's at least clear out this floor. And I think in the next video, I'll be, uh, looking to go back and, um, use our now special sword to deal with certain creatures that were a pain in the butt before, which we now can be dealt with. Ah, yeah, see, now we can kill those. That's cool. Kill the helicopters. Stupid helicopters. And we can kill these guys, too. So, in your face. In your face. You big disgrace. Uh, what is it? Blood in your face, big disgrace. Ah, uh, queen. Such a glorious band. Um, okay, so, I think just, the best thing to do is stay over here. Like, they can fly towards you, but, uh, they, they don't really have a direct line to get to you, I don't think. So, ah, uh, look at these things. These things are just, like, the enemies here are just very aggressive. They, uh, they kind of, like, this is the point of the game where you actually have enemies that can path towards you. Like, they just don't move in, like, kind of a predictable linear fashion. They actually seek you out. Oh, these guys are, these guys are rough. So, uh, they're gonna come this way. You just kind of want to, you kind of want to project how they're gonna be moving around in the pipes. And so, wow, look at that. Look at that. All this. All that in a bag of potato chips. Ay, ay, ay. This is why the shield bracelet's so good. If we didn't have the shield bracelet on, we would have had to use up our medical herb already. So, yay, what have we got next? Another great door, so now we have access to... Well, I don't think there's anything beyond that quite yet. We still have some more releasing to do. Ah! We, uh... <laughs> now we have to start over with these guys, but that's okay. Now they're all gonna show up, rest at my doorstep, and I'll be able to kill them. Oh, look at that. Look, look, <laughs> I love how it's like four, five dead monster layers in a row. That's kind of, uh... That's kind of cool. I appreciate that. So let me see, um, how much more on this floor do I have to do? So just six. And once we clear out the six, we should be good to go. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those things suck. Those things are just really annoying. They just kind of come out, come out at you. Like that. And, uh... Ugh. Might have to use my medical herb soon. Ay! Ay! Alright. You know what? Oh, I don't have one. Damn it. Should have picked one up. That's okay, though. I do believe that I'll be okay. I do believe that. But you know what, just in case, I think I'm going to take a break. I'm gonna head back up to this floor, talk to some people, restore my health, and then the next video I think we'll be heading to uh, some of the other lands. Hello, door. Okay, body is locked. So you can't get in there yet. You can't talk to the kitty cat on the other side. Um. Yeah, so unfortunately right now our mobility is kind of limited, but that's okay. Alright, ah, sweet, sweet nectar of the shrine. We got our health back. Alright, cool, so now that we have the proper sword, I'm gonna go back to, uh, the first, second, and third worlds where we were unable to kill metal enemies and see what comes from that. Uh, we could do this later. It's perfectly okay if you wait to the end of the game to do this, but I think now is a good time to show you what those monster layers will give you, so... Thank you guys for watching. This is the Benjinator. This has been Let's Play Soul Blazer, and I'll see you guys next time.